Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Jamesy Tech YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be exploring will the Google IT support professional certification help you land a job in IT? So in this video, we're going to be breaking down the Google IT support professional, break down how it helped me or how it didn't help me. And along with that, some reasons why you may or may not want to take this certification. And if you like this video and like my other videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit trying to hit 3000 subscribers before the year is over. And along with that, we have a discord with over 200 members that are trying to get into IT jamesy.tech slash discord. So if you're interested, go ahead and feel free to join. So a little overview of the Google IT support professional is it is about $50 a month. The first week of the program is free. Um, there's five courses. You have technical support fundamentals, computer networking, operating systems, system administration, and computer security. So it gives you a broad range of topics. And what it will do is it'll give you a quiz for each module. And it also gives you interactive labs to give you up to an hour to do these labs. But usually they'll take you 15 to 20 minutes to maybe 30 minutes at the most. Um, a lot of it's interactive lab stuff in either Windows and, or Linux, doing basic commands and basic things in the file system. The style that they teach the content is that they have talking head style videos like this one, where they go through the topics. Usually it's not really um, too much of like a computer recording. It's more of some, a person talk to you. Each, each different um, module that I said earlier has a different instructor for some of those things. And as far as how long it will take you to complete this course, it really depends on how long you take. They suggest if you do 10 hours a week that you complete it in six months. I personally disagree with that. I did. I'm not sure how much content I did, but I, com I, I completed the program in about four months and I've heard many people do it within one or two months. It really depends on how much you already know going in. So now let's go over how it personally helped me in my career. I took the certification in December of 2022 during my junior year of high school. I was just starting my junior year of high school. Um, I was in the Cisco Networking, Networking Academy and I was wanting to get some sort of credential um, on my resume other than the Cisco Networking Academy and that I was in high school to use to, to potentially land an internship or some other job role. So my main purpose was to learn learn some extra stuff alongside the things that I've already learned from computer networking and, and IT because I did have a good understanding of most IT concepts. So the course itself was not a whole like completely new thing to me, but um, it did give me some new things to learn, especially get me more interested in security with the last module they had. And like I said earlier, it took me four months to complete. So that was a, that was a credential that I could add to my resume. Um, a lot of people say it aligns with the uh, CompTIA A+. A lot of people will take the A+, after the Google IT Support Professional because it gives you a 30% discount on the A+, exam. I personally did not take that path. Um, a few months later, after I passed, um, I took the ITF plus um, by CompTIA, which is below the A plus. But being in high school, I didn't want uh, didn't want to fully study for the A plus just yet. Um, I didn't end up taking that test actually. I never ended up taking the A plus, but um, I passed the ITF plus after taking this course. The ITF plus is pretty much computer literacy. It wasn't a whole crazy test, but um, the knowledge from the Google IT professional certification definitely helped passing that certification. Now with actually landing a job, did the certification help me? I believe it helped me get a couple interviews by having this on my resume because before my resume was completely bare. It had barely anything on it, um, but I did end up landing an internship at, uh, for a summer internship pretty much after landing the certification. I don't think the certification was the reason that I got the job. Absolutely not. Um, but it definitely helped me get noticed and get the foot into the actual interview. So I believe as far as the interview goes, I think having this credential definitely did help. But you also got to remember, I had no college experience, no nothing. This was the only certification I had alongside my high school, uh, you know, my GPA and all that stuff in my Cisco Networking Academy that was in the high school that got me noticed for this job. So if you have a degree and you get the certification, you might actually have more luck than me. Now let's get into why you should or shouldn't take this certification. Um, a good reason why you should take the certification. If you're someone who is interested in IT and you want to learn more and you're not completely sure if it's for you, this is a, a pretty safe option because um, you get a free trial for a week. So that's pretty cool first off. And then second off, it's $50 a month. So if you get it for a month, you don't like it. You only lost $50 compared to taking a CompT exam, which you might fail if you 
are not interested or you just might not take it at all, which costs a few hundred dollars to take the exam. And you also got to pay for um, training as well. Along with that, if you're someone who doesn't like the pressure of taking a certification exam because you may not feel ready yet or you just want to get that extra boost of confidence, this is a good uh, certificate to have because you pretty much just take the course, pass the quizzes and you get the certificate. There's no no final exam or thing like that. It's pretty much a completion certificate, but it is pretty well looked at by most people because it is from Google. But not having to worry about passing or failing an exam is pretty nice because you get to pay, you know, $50, $100, however long it takes you to complete the certificate course, and then you get the credential. I believe the certification will help land a job. I definitely don't think it will land you a job by itself. A lot of the times certifications aren't like this. Certifications are, will not make or break a resume. It could definitely help. A good resume, a good cover letter, um, a portfolio, building yourself a portfolio, cover letter, resume, making sure it is a, uh, has a good ATS score, things like that. That is more important than a certification, in my opinion. While the certificate is kind of well known, it's definitely not as highly looked at as your CompTIA A+, that which you can compare this certificate to, mainly because you know you pass an exam and you, have to, you, you can prove you passed the exam but on the flip side of that, a lot of employers realize that passing your A plus or passing security plus, whatever it is, doesn't mean you're, you know, you have the competence or you have the ability to work in the job that you're applying for. So some employers do realize that you don't need those types of certifications to land a job, but some definitely like for you to have those credentials. So that is kind of the balance between getting the certification or getting your A plus, but you could also just get the certification then get your A plus and you have both and you won't really have to worry about that scenario at all. The last thing I really have to say about the certification is a lot of the information wasn't as useful for the actual industry itself when I did get an internship. Um, so I would say this certification is good if you're interested in IT um, or certificate, I should say. If you're interested in IT, interested in security, and you're thinking about getting into it and you might uh, maybe early in your career, I definitely think this is a good course for you. If you're already a little bit into IT, and you have some experience, maybe not for you. But if you're looking for a certificate that goes over the day-to-day -day tasks in IT, I would say that the Course Careers IT um, certificate course would be a better course to take than this one, mainly because that one goes over things that are used in modern day. And it also has a framework to help you apply, land a job, and also have a strategy for getting a job rather than teaching you all these things and kind of just sending you the, uh, sending you away with a certificate. This one kind of integrates actually getting a job into the certificate. So if you're interested in that uh, course, I'll have that link down below as well. You get a free module once you sign up. So you can at least try it out and see if you like it as well. You can try either one of these out. And if you like either one, you can choose one or the other. Or if you don't like either of them, you can choose a whole different pathway. Along with that, I'll also put the Google IT Support Professional Certificate down uh, down in the description and the comments as well. Comment down below what your experience is with the Google IT Support Pro uh, Professional certifi uh, Certificate or the cybersecurity one, if you've done any of them. Uh, comment down below and help us out, you know, share your experience if it's helped you, if it's not helped you. But other than that, that's all I have for this video. Make sure to hit that like that, hit that like button and subscribe because you're at the end of the video. You must have liked watching it. If you want to support the channel even further, you can become a member by pressing the join button um, in the description or by the subscribe button down below. Or you can join the Discord server and interact with everybody in the community. We have over 200 people. We want to get to like three, 400 before the year is over. So if you do enjoy and you want to interact with some of the viewers as well, go ahead and join that Discord. Thank you guys for watching. This is James Tech, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.